lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. This is a daily tarot reading for the 29th of October 2024. We have the full autumn tapestry on the table, which I deem very appropriate. We'll be using the Stardust Wonder Tarot for today's daily tarot reading. This will be listed in the description box down below. Anyway, let us begin. All right, my lovelies, I am back. All your cards are on the table. Uh, we have a two aces, five major arcana, and we have one synchronicity showing up for you. We have 7777. 77. Now, the best part of our day, we start off with the ace of pentacles in the reverse. The knight of wands. The seven of pentacles. Followed by the king of wands. The five of wands in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Some of you may not realize that this is actually uh, a good thing, a uh, best part of your day, but it's going to sound like an oxymoron a little bit. You actually missed an opportunity uh, due to circumstances not being right, not having the right um, skills, ability, even health, energy uh, to match that opportunity, to be able to have that doorway open up for you. However, here's where the good part is, and that is because of that, it's now prompted you to work on it, to take action, to, to seek recompense, you know. Um, say, for example, you applied for a job, and you didn't get it, and you call them back and be like, well, was I ever considered? And they go, no. So you ask them, why? And they say, well, your credentials weren't up to our standard. You didn't meet our criteria. And you ask them, okay, well, was it my education? Was it my experience level? Um, you know, you narrow it down and you get told, oh, well, it was just your experience level. So you go back out and you get the experience. So next time a job position there opens up, you meet their criteria. This is where you double down, you invest in yourself, you figure it out of where you might have been just a little offset. <laughs> you know, where your skills and abilities maybe weren't up to standard, weren't up to par, weren't um, meeting the threshold for this opportunity that actually passed you by. And this could be something major, or this could be something is small. We have little windows of opportunity that open up on abundance and things like this for all of us. And we do have nothing but wands and pentacles right here in the best part of your day. So maybe this would have been um, an opportunity for you to make a little bit of side money had you, you know, had the right skills and abilities or the intuition to see it. And maybe that's all you needed was just to up your game on your intuition to be able to see that, hey, there's something there that is an opportunity to do something. Um, others of you, it's literally a skill set, whether that is physically or um, tied to your metaphysical abilities. Okay. So this is interesting already, <laughs> at least for, for me. <laughs> now, the worst part of our day, we start off with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. And because YouTube is a whole bunch of weenies, let me cover this up. Now, the world. <laughs> the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. The Four of Cups in the reverse. The Chariot in the reverse. And the Lovers in the reverse. Okay. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, um, realizing maybe yet you missed a, an opportunity, a door was closed. Uh, this does make you believe you have limited chances. You're not going to be able to complete or do what you wish. Um, instead, it gets taken from you. Um, you know, that you're in that deprivation standpoint. In other words, you're, you're almost to the point of lacking, you know, you're down on your luck, things are not going well, and these kind of thoughts can very much run away from you. Unfortunately, that kind of vibration that comes attached to that means you get separated from other opportunities um, to connect with, to foster, to move forward, 
Why? Because law of attraction, like attracts like. So be careful of your mentality when you realize a door closed. Look at it as an opportunity for a new one or an opportunity for a better one rather than going, aww, I'll never be able to do that. That wasn't meant for me. You know, don't throw the pity party. Um, that lowers your vibration and that ends up conveying to the universe that uh, you either didn't want that, didn't need that, or that you are still not ready for that particular item or event, whichever way that plays out for you because you've now changed your vibration. So instead of being a near match for it, you've now gone the opposite direction. And that's not good. That's not what we want. We don't want to push our opportunities and doors and um, rewards and gifts further away. We want to pull them in. We want them to rise up. We want to be able to utilize them. We want to be able to perfect them, um, use them better and explore them. And that doesn't help if we sever that connection and we just keep pushing it further away. All right, now our obstacle or how to get over our obstacle. We start off with the Ace of Wands. The Seven of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Hermit, the Sun in the Reverse, and the Nine of Wands in the Reverse. Okay, yeah. See, this is where we need that reminder that if we really want to do something, um, you know, if it inspires us, if it brings us joy, if it's something that we really want to go through with that we have to keep persisting um, in that area, whether that is with our uh, vibration, with learning new skills, um, you know, for being ready and primed when that opportunity shows back up. Why? Because then we actually will have that happy ending because we've done the internal work to set it up. <laughs> And we, we haven't given in to that negativity, that depression, that sense of lacking that may cause us to drop our guard and give up. It, it's that go-getter attitude, basically. When we start embodying that of, oh, that door just shut in my face, but I want that. And we start working on ourselves. We start doing things that bring us closer into alignment with that opportunity to get that door, that window, um, that reward to circle back around. Why? Because we, well, we want it and it is actually meant for us. Uh, we up our vibration and we start to convey to the universe, yes, I wanted that, bring it back. Um, and that's exactly what happens. Hence why the worst part of our day is don't fall into that pity party. Don't disconnect from that vibration and push it further away. That is the opposite of what we want to do. That is counterintuitive. Okay. Okay. So for like you, if this is your intuition kicking in and you're starting to awaken, um, maybe you did miss a shot to use your intuition or you ignored your intuition. Uh, well, don't think that your intuition is broken. You just need to learn how to read it and use it. And well, getting yourself out there and putting yourself in situations where that is going to actively be in use and learning how to um, actually use it in real time, whether you fail or not, is a better idea than going, oh, I'm broken. I don't work right and completely ignoring it altogether because that's not going to help you um, with it. Just like with any other metaphysical ability you have, um, if you stick with it, if you continue to try and grow it, to work with it, it's going to work out better. And always mind your vibration while you do so. Um, your vibration is everything. Your vibration is energy and energy is in everything. It makes up everything. So that is um, very key to what's going on is your mindset. Remember thoughts become things because thoughts are energy too. So be careful of the narrative you tell yourself. <laughs> Please. 
Now I did add up all your cards here. Everything adds up to 123, which also reduces to six. And in my numerology chart that I am currently using, six is the sum of your intuition, but also metaphysical abilities or skill sets. Um, and that's kind of what we see here. <laughs> Hence the example that I gave you earlier. Now, for those of you that do like the astrology portion, we have the moon entering Libra. So this is where uh, we do prioritize peace and harmony, or the sense of harmony and peace. We spend time in places that do bring us comfort and soothe us and want to be around people that embody that energy. In other words, we want that grounded, calm, laid back, very comfortable, non-stress environment. And this is where we want um, our environment, but also our vibration to be. Um, and this is where that maintaining your vibration part comes in. Uh, we're not giving in to panic. We're not giving in to stress. We're not giving in to the pity party. We're actually coming to terms with things. We're being comfortable and hopefully being more proactive. We're getting that go-getter attitude. Why? Because part of us has done enough of the work to find that peace, grounded, harmonized spot. Um, that anchor <laughs> to maintain our vibration while well, hopefully we move forward instead of backwards. All right, my loves, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you. If it resonates, by all means, give me a thumbs up. And if it doesn't, no worries. It is a general reading after all, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys tomorrow. Bye.